Rahim. Welcome to the quantity survey course. In this lecture, we will discuss the bar bending schedule of beam in very detail. This is very important lecture. So let's we start first. I want to show you this is our beam elevation view. In this, you can say our length, total length, including covers concrete cover 20 millimeter from this side 20 millimeter from this side and concrete cover from the top and bottom is also 20 millimeter <coughs> and the total length including concrete cover we have 4040 millimeter and here this is the tension bar provided in red color and in black color this is the compression bar these are there are two compression bar but in elevation you just can see one bar and here in tension zone we have two bars of 20 millimeter and here 16 millimeter of the bars of compression zones so here I want to show you in section view that there are four number of bar these two tension bar of 20 millimeter dia and the compression bars are having 16 millimeter dia stirrups having 12, 12 millimeter dia spacing at the end of the beam is from both sides 100 millimeter at the end while the, at the mid of the beam the spacing is 150 millimeter <coughs> So our clear cover is 20 millimeter from all side. Let's we start further. Here we cut the section. End length we can calculate by this formula L by 3. Please note that here L is the length after excluding the concrete cover. Here to find end length L by 3 formula here we put the length after excluding the concrete cover concrete cover is not included in this length so <coughs> these are the stirrups stirrups at end having 100 millimeter spacing and at the mid stirrups having 150 millimeter spacing So given data for the bar bending schedule of beam, we have length of beam 440 millimeter including concrete covers from the side. Height of the beam is 500 millimeter including concrete cover. Here you can see in this section view height is height or depth is 500 millimeter and width is of the beam is 300 millimeter width of beam 300 millimeter clear cover 20 millimeter from all the side compression bar which are provided at the top is six dia compression bar is 16 millimeter and the tension bar which are provided bars below the here you can see these are the tension bar having diameter of 12 20 millimeter and one we have one bent up bar and the dia of bent up bar is 20 millimeter. I want to show you here in elevation view. Here, this is bent up bar. It is going from here, here it is, here, then here, here. So it cannot clear visible to you guys because it is just in the mid of the beam. This is elevation view so that's why you cannot see it, it here it is just behind the compression bar in the mid of the compression bars so <coughs> and the same you cannot see it in the section view so this is our question today let's we start the bar bending schedule of beam first we will calculate the cutting length of compression bars we have two compression bars which are provided at the top of the beam of the 16 millimeter dia cutting length formula here length of beam minus concrete covers from both side 
plus development length when we overlap the length of the steel bars this is called development length and development length minus bends deductions this is the main formula to calculate the cutting length of the bars main bars this is compression bars and here we length of the beam we know that here you can see length of beam is 40 40 millimeter 4040 millimeter <coughs> so here we just put the length of the beam and minus 2 concrete cover we have concrete cover 20 from both sides here 2 is just multiplied because we have concrete cover from both sides here we will put the our concrete cover 20 millimeter which is plus 50d development length formula we have 50d for the beam we use 45 to 55d but here in our case we use 50d 50d is effective to use the development length formula and the, we know that the dia of the bar is 16 millimeter so our compression bar dia is 16 millimeter we will multiply 50 into d d is the dia of compression bars <coughs> and minus 2 bends and you can see first we are calculating the cutting length of one bar then we will multiply with the two to calculate the two compression bars cutting length so here we have know that the one compression bar having 290 degrees bend here i want to show you in the elevation compression bars one compression bar having 290 degree bend here in the elevation view you can see this is the one bend at the end of the sport and this is one bend for at the end of the sport for one bar and another bar having the same two bends so one bar, bar having 290 degree bends so that's why we multiply here with the two and for 90 degree bend we use the formula 2d we have 90 degree bend is equal to 2d so that's why we use here tire of the bar we know that uh, is 16 millimeter so let's we calculate it on the calculator 40 40 minus 40 so it will give us 4000 millimeter plus plus 50 sorry 50 into 16 800 so 14 4000 millimeter plus 800 is 4800 minus 16 into 2 32 and 32 into 2 that's 64 so total cutting length for one bar we have 4736 so we have cutting length for one compression bar 4736 let's we multiply it with the two to calculate it the cutting length for two compression bar 4736 4, is let me calculate it on the calculator multiply it with one bar cutting length compression bar with two so total we have 9472 9472 9472 millimeter let's we calculate it in the meter so in meter we will divide with the 1000 so after dividing 1000 it will give us 9.472 meter uh, you can see on the calculator also so we just calculated the cutting length of compression bars 
let's we calculate the weight of compression ball we have the formula d square by 162 and we put the dia in millimeter here in this formula this formula is designed to put the value in millimeter of the dia but length we put in the meter so d square we have the dia of the bar is 16 millimeter so 16 into 16 this is square of dia so that and this is the formula 162 let's we multiply it with length length we have 9.472 so let me calculate it on the calculator the weight of the compression bars so 16 scale 256 divide by 162 1.58 then multiply it with 9.472 total we have weight of 14.96 14.96 kg we have the weight of the compression bars 14.96 and we have two compression bars here you can see in the section view these are two compression bars and in the elevation view these are the two compression bar one is just behind it and in the middle we have this <coughs> bent up bar so let's for we go further to calculate the cutting length of tension bars we have the dia of tension bars 20 millimeter and we use two, two to tension bars in our beam cutting length formula for tension bar beam length of formula is same length of beam minus concrete cover plus development length minus bend deductions we have 90 degree bends we know that in tension view also we have two 90 degree bends for one bar so let first we are calculating the length of one bar then we will multiply it with the two to calculate the cutting length of two bars so let's we put the values in the concrete cover we have 20 millimeter this is the length of the beam we have total 40 4040 and concrete cover two concrete cover we have two concrete cover from both sides we will minus it then plus development length formula is 50d minus two deductions we have two band for one bar so that's why we multiply it with the 2 and for 90 degree band we have formula 2d so here we will put the dia of the bar is tension bar dia is 20 and here we also put tension bar dia is 20 so let's we calculate it on the calculator but before i want to show you the bands in tension bars in the tension bar here one band is here and other is here they both are 90 degree bands for one bar so two bar having total four bands so here we are calculating the cutting length for one bar let me calculate it on the calculator 4040 millimeter total length of beam minus concrete cover we have 40 millimeter concrete cover minus 40 we have 4000 millimeter length after minus of the concrete cover plus development length development length 50 into 20 dia of the bar 50d is the formula 1000 so let's we add 4000 this and 5 this will become 5000 4000 length after excluding the concrete cover and 1000 of the development length it's 5000 and then we deduct 5000 we deduct 
20 into 2, 40 into 2, 80. We will deduct 80 from 5000. 80. So it will give us 4920. 4920. 4920 is the cutting length for one bar millimeter. So let's we calculate the cutting length for two tension bars. Just multiply the one length of tension bar with 2 here 4920 will multiply with the 2 so it will give let's we calculate it on the 4920 multiply with the 2 total length we have 9840 9840 9840 millimeter then let's we calculate it in the meter just divide it by 1000 to convert it into meter. It will give us 9.840. Let's further we calculate the weight of the tension bars. We know that the dia we use 20 millimeter. 20 into 20 will be the d scale. Divide it by 162. This is formula then but length length we have 9.84 meter here in meter so this will give us the weight in kg that we calculate it on the calculator 20 scale 400 divided by 162 with 2.416 and multiply it with the total length of tension bars 9.84 note here this is the length of two tension bars 9.84 millimeter length this will give 24.29 24.29 kg is the weight of two tension bars Let's move further. So here I want to show you just we calculated the weight of compressed two compression bars and the weight of two tension bars. First we calculated their cutting length and then we calculated their weight. Here these are the compression bars, these are the tension bars. Let's move further to calculate the bent up bar. We have just one bent up bar in our P of 20 millimeter dia so cutting length for bent up bar we have the formula length of straight beam straight beam minus concrete cover plus 2 into 0 0.42 h minus bends where for 45 degree bends we use 1d formula h how do we calculate this h h is actually depth minus two clear cover from the top and the bottom minus dia of the bent up bar one dia of the bent up bar then cutting length will be equal to total length of the straight beam we have 4040 millimeter minus two concrete cover from top and bottom will be 20 concrete cover into 2 we just multiply because the from that we have to exclude the concrete cover from the top and the from bottom plus 2 into 0.42 h 0.42 h this is the formula to calculate the this here i want to show you so this is the formula to Calculate the cutting length of bent up bar. This is the formula. Here, this is I want to show you how do we calculate here H. Here you can see this is bent up bar in the beam. We have four bends 
in the event of war. One is here, one is here, and these are two. Third is here, and this is fourth one band. So we total have four bands in one band of bar. We have only one band of bar in our beam. So four bands of 45 degree in our one band of bar. And formula here to calculate this length. This length at 45 degree. This is bending at 45 degree. To calculate this length we have for this formula 0 0.42 into h. And h is the height, height from below the this bar, below the this bar to this end bar. So that's why we are using here formula 0 0.42 h to calculate this length. So first we will calculate h. Depth of our beam is 500 millimeter. 500 millimeter. We have the depth of our beam. Minus two clear cover from both sides. We have two into 21 cover, 20 millimeter from the top and the from bottom. And dia of the bent up bar is. We have the dia of bent up bar 20 millimeter. Why we deduct this dia of bar? Because here you can see the edge is starting from below this bar. So that's why we just excluded the top beam cover and this bar length here. You can see this B bar length bent up bar length here it is this height is from here below the below the this bent up bar to this so h value just let me calculate it h value will be let me calculate it on the calculator 500 depth of the beam minus 2 into 40 40 concrete covers 460 minus 20 minus 20 is the tie of the bent up bar 440 millimeter the so total h we have 440 millimeter 445 millimeter we have h so we will just now put the h value in the formula to calculate the cutting length of the bent up bar length of the straight bar here we use the our values in this formula the length of the straight beam we have 4040 millimeter and two concrete cover plus 2 into 0 0.42 into h we have what is the value of h let's again see in the we just calculated it 440 millimeter let me put also here 440 millimeter so h value we have 440 and minus 4 bands we have 4 bands of 45 degree just that's why we can multiply with the 4 into d for 45 degree 1 band we have the formula 1 d so that's why we multiply it with the 4 because we have 4 45 degree band 1 this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. All are 45 degree bands. So, dia here is we have 20 millimeter dia of the bar. Let's we calculate it on the calculator now. 4040 uh, 4, minus 40 concrete cover. This will give us 4000 millimeter length after excluding the concrete covers plus let's uh, 4000 we have then we let we calculate it 2 into 0 0.42 into 440 
so 369.6 plus 4000 length of, of the beam we just calculated so total 4369.6 minus 4 into 20 this will give us 80 minus 80 total we have 4289 let we take it 4290 4290 millimeter let's we calculate in the meter so convert it into meter just divide it by 1000 this will give 4.290 meter So we just calculated the cutting length of one bent up bar. We have only one bent up bar, 4.290. This was the depth of the beam, 500 millimeter. So let's go further. Weight of the bent up bar, for D square into 160. D. We have 20 of die of the bar, 20 into 20. That will give us square. Then 160 divided by 162 it with the length we have bent our length 4.290 4.290 sorry 4.290 so let's we calculate it on the calculator 20 square 400 divided by 1 oh sorry 400 divided by 162 162 it will give us 2.46 then multiply 2.46 with total length of the band bar 4.290 uh, 10.59 let's finally we calculate the cutting length of stirrups bar of using 12 millimeter of the stirrups dia so length is divided into two ways at the ends and at mid at ends we have two ends for this beam calculation and length to calculate the end length of the beam we have the formula effective length divided by three here i want to show you what is effective length effective length is the length after excluding the side covers so that will be the effective length effective length we already calculated have is four thousand divided by three it will give us 1333.33 millimeter so at the ends we will calculate the length of the ends here i want to show you what at the what is at end and mid span of the beam let's go to our beam here in elevation view this is elevation view in elevation view you can see this this is the end one end and this is the other end of the beam this is the mid span from here to here in the mid span we have 150 millimeter spacing between the stirrups at the end we have 100 millimeter sp stirrups spacing so that's why we will calculate it one by one first we will calculate the number of stirrups at the ends then we will calculate the at the mid span so to calculate the length and length one end length we will divide the effective length by three what is effective length from here to here this is the length after excluding this concrete cover this will this is the effective length this is the effective length from here to here okay let's we calculate now stirrups at the end spacing 100 millimeter sorry for the 100 millimeter spacing effective length at the end we have 4020 sorry because we at the one end we have 4020 because at the one end we will just exclude the one concrete cover total length is 4040 millimeter 
so deduct 20 millimeter from it it will give us 4020 millimeter divide it by 3 so it will give us 1333.3 millimeter so this is the end one end length number of stirrups at the one end and length divided by the spacing in plus 1 and length is 1300 so sorry let's we calculate is it our end length is right or wrong? let first we calculate the end length let me calculate it on the calculator uh, you will see 4020 4020 divided by 3 first we are just consider the one end divide it by 3 it will give us 1340 so 1340 this 1340 sorry for that this is a 1340 millimeter we have at the end <coughs> one end and 1340 millimeter divide this is the number of stirrups at one end to calculate the formula number of stirrups at one end length and length of one end is 1340 divided by spacing spacing we have at the ends both ends we have 100 millimeter spacing plus one this is the formula so let's we calculate the number of stirrups 1340 divided by 100 millimeter which is the spacing between the stirrups at ends plus 1 14.4 so 1 at one end we require 14.4 number of stirrups let's calculate number of stirrups for both ends for both ends we have two ends of the beam so to calculate it both ends just multiply with the two 14.4 let me calculate it on the just multiply 14.4 with the two here you will see 28.8 28.8 so let's we can take it 20 9 is 28.8 so let's we take it uh, at the end we are 29 29 okay we take it 29 numbers numbers okay no finally let's we calculate the number of stirrups and cutting length stirrups at the mid spacing First, we are just calculating the number of stirrups at the after the calculating the number of stirrups, we will calculate the cutting length of all the stirrups required in this beam. At the mid spacing is 150 millimeter. So <coughs> to calculate the mid length, first we just can subtract the two ends length, two ends length, the one end length is a 1340 so 13 40 millimeter so multiplied with the two to subtract the two ends length from the total length of the beam in this we don't have any concrete cover this is excluded length after subtracting the concrete cover 4000 millimeter of the beam so 4000 because at the mid we don't have any concrete cover 4000 minus uh, let's we calculate it on the calculator then we 4000 for um, 2 into 13 2680 2680 2680 so 1320 millimeter at the mid we have spacing or uh, length of the mid we have our concrete beam mid length we have 13 
1320 millimeter so number of the stirrups at the mid required mid length we have 1320 divided by the spacing we have 150 150 let me calculate it on the calculator number of stirrups required at the mid of the beam mid length 1320 divided by 150 spacing plus 1 9.8 9.8 let we take it 10 numbers okay 10 numbers of bar at stirrups required at the mid span of the beam finally we will calculate the cutting length of stirrups bar and then the weight of the stirrups bar and then we calculate the total weight of steel bars for our beam here I want to show A is the horizontal length of stirrups. In formula, we will use A. A showing two horizontal length of the stirrups. So, how do we calculate the horizontal length of stirrups? Total our beam horizontal length is horizontal width is 300, 300 millimeter minus two concrete cover concrete cover we have 20 then minus 2 into half of the dia of the bar why are we doing here how taking half of dia bar because the we go from the center to center we go from center to center of the bar to here I will put to half is 12 millimeter half is 6 millimeter so here already we put it so let me calculate the I also want to show you the horizontal length of the stirrups in section view let's we go let's we go in the section view in the section you can see this is the stirrups these are the stirrups stirrups horizontal length one is this and other is this so two, we have two horizontal uh, width length of the stirrups and these are the vertical length this is a and this is b a is the horizontal length of the stirrups in the section view you can see total we have 300 we first we will deduct the concrete cover from this side and this side two concrete cover and then half dia of the bars to go from center to center let's withdraw it so uh, let me calculate on the calculator horizontal length of the stirrups 300 millimeter width of the beam minus 40 2 concrete covers 260 minus 12 minus 12 this is the half diameter of the stirrups bar because we will go from center to center so this is just we multiply it with 2 because we have 2 bar at, at the top of the horizontal and same at the bottom of the beam so it will give us 248 millimeter total horizontal length is for at the top horizontal length of the stirrup is 248 millimeter b is the vertical length of the stirrups concrete cover depth to calculate the vertical length first we deduct uh, concrete cover from total depth then half of the dia of the bar half of dia bar is 6 and here we just calculated it we have 500 minus 40 let me calculate it on the calculator 
500 depth of the beam minus 42 concrete covers this is we calculating the vertical length of the stirrups in section view i will show you 40 460 minus 12 so 448 millimeter 448 millimeter now let me show this to you guys in the section view what is horizontal length what is vertical length we have two horizontal length of the stirrups and two vertical length of the stirrups let me show it to you guys sorry for that here this is the section view of the beam here this is horizontal length of the stirrups from here to here and this is the vertical length of the stirrups from here to here so we have two vertical length of the stirrups and two horizontal length of the stirrups to calculate the full length of the stirrups we add them all and then the this hook length so that's why we are calculating a horizontal length of the stirrups and b vertical length of the stirrups. in the formula we use half dia of the stirrups deduct the half dia of stirrups because here we go from the center to center we exclude the half dia this is the formula let's move to calculate the cutting length of one stirrup so to put in the a we have one horizontal length we have 248 this is just multiplied with the two to calculate two horizontal length. Then P is the vertical length multiplied with the two because we have two vertical length 448 millimeter. 248 millimeter is the and dia we have dia of stirrups we have 12 millimeter and the dia let me also explain you this formula this is these are the two horizontal length a two horizontal length that's why we multiply with, our, with one horizontal length with two and these are the two vertical length b multiply with the two and this we multiply one hook length we have two hook length in our beam in one stirrup we have two hook length so we are calculating the cutting length of one stirrup so in one stirrup we have two hook length so we just multiply with the two and this is the formula 10 d 10 d is the dia of stirrup 12 millimeter and here 3 d we use this subtract the 3 d because we have to 135 degree bands to one stirrup is having 135 degree band oh two stirrup uh, one stirrup having 235 degree 135 degree bands i want to show you in the section over here these hook having one hook having 135 degree band and other is also having a 135 degree band so we are having two 135 degree band in one stirrup that's why we multiply 3d we use the formula 3d for 135 degree band so that's why we multiply it with the 2 then minus 2d we have 390 degree bands in one stirrups that's why we multiply the 3 with the 2d is the 90 degree formula here i want to show you 10d is the hook length we use here and the 3D is the 135 degree band. We have two 135 degree band in one stirrup. That's why we multiply it with the two. And 2D formula is used for 90 degree band. We have three 90 degree band bands. That's why we use it. Let me show it on the section view. We have three 90 degree bands. One is here band. One is here and one is here. So total three 90 degree band. This is how works. Hook bands these are one two one thirty five degree bands so let's we put here the dia 
h of the steel of is 12 and dia of steel of is 12 cutting length of one steel of let we calculate it on the calculator 2 into 248 2 into 248 496 496 well was 2 into 2 into 448 2 into 448 896 896 millimeter then plus 2 into 10 20 into 20 into 12 240 240 then minus we this 3 into 12 into 2 72 12 into 2, 24 into 3, 72, same, 72. So let me calculate it, the cutting length of one steel. First we have 496 plus 896 plus 4, 240. 1632 minus 144 this will give 144 minus 144 1488 1488 millimeter is the cutting length of one stirrups so to calculate the total cutting length we just multiply the one cutting length of the stirrup with the total number of the stirrups so total number of stirrups we have here first we have at the mid we have 10 numbers of stirrups and at both ends we have 29 numbers of stirrups 10, 29 plus 10 at the mid we have number of stirrups 39 number of stirrups so total number of stirrups we have 39 in multiply with the one cutting length of the stirrup what is the one cutting length of the stirrups 400 uh, 1488 1488 millimeter so that will give us the total cutting length for the all the stirrups let me calculate it on the calculator 1488 88 multiply with the 39 number of stirrups total length we have 58032 58032 millimeter total length of the stirrups so let me calculate it in the meter in the meter we have 58 divided by 1058 Zero three two meter is the total cutting length of the stirrups. So total cutting length of the stirrups is fifty eight point zero three two meter. So let's we calculate the total weight of the all the stirrups. D square dia of the stirrup is twelve into twelve divided by one sixty two into length total length we have of 1488 millimeter no no in meter we have length total length of the cutting length of the stirrups in meter we have 
let me calculate it on the calculator 12 scale 144 divided by 162 0.88 multiply with the 50 total length of the stirrups in meter 58.032 total cutting length of the stirrups so total weight of the stirrups bar we have 51.58 one point one point five eight kg so let's now we calculate the total weight of steel required for our beam that was the purpose to calculate the cutting length of the compression bars tension bars and the syrups bar finally can we calculate so finally we can calculate the total weight of the steel compression bars weight let me show you with what was the compression bar weight compression bars weight was 14.96 kg 14.96 kg total we have 14.96 kg was tension bar weight tension bar weight we have total weight 24 point nine twenty nine twenty four point twenty nine twenty four point twenty nine plus stirrups weight we have total stirrups weight we have fifty one point five eight fifty one point five eight so let me calculate the total weight of the steel fifty one point five eight four oh so 14.96 compression bar weight plus 24.29 tension bar weight plus stirrups bar weight 51.58 so total weight we have 90.83 kg 90.8 3 kg of our beam steel weight total steel weight of our beam is 90.83 kg thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next this is very important lecture because please solve your own numerical by doing practice